Hey guys, what's going on? Kuya Din here. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're excited because we have a very exciting unboxing today. We have the Huawei Nova 8i right here. This phone is coming out in the end of August. Although those of you who want to pre-order, you can go ahead and head over to Shopee, Lazada or the Huawei official store and make your pre-orders as soon as today. And this will be retailing at a price of 13,999 pesos for the 8 plus 128GB variant. So maybe you're here because you want to make the right decision. You want to learn more about the phone. Perhaps you're coming here because you already have one and you like to learn more about this phone well you've come to the right channel and without further ado let's take a look at what's inside the Huawei Nova 8i all right so we have the production unit of the Huawei Nova 8i this is the moonlight silver colored variant with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage boom wow guys so this is moonlight silver looks like a cross between metal and glass and plastic i feel like it's gonna be a bit of a fingerprint magnet but hey it looks great guys interesting layout it's definitely eye-catching with this arrangement and of course the huawei logo right here there you go Moving to the front, we have the 6.67 inch IPS LCD display panel with a pill shaped notch. As you might expect a dual camera, there's only one camera up there. The bezels are pretty thin, both at the top and at the bottom edge of the phone. It's a good looking panel, high quality display, very vivid colors. Although for those of you who may be wondering, there's no high refresh rate on this phone. The refresh rate is locked at its native 60 Hertz. Okay, at the top portion, you'll find the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and the receiver. And if you'll notice, there's a slight curve at the left and right edges of the phone, which kind of gives it this ergonomic feeling when you're holding it. You know, it doesn't feel too bulky. It doesn't cut through your palms. Moving to the bottom, we find the USB Type-C port, single bottom firing loudspeakers, and of course, the dual SIM tray. Wait, what? No expansion slot? That's a bit of a letdown. I would have wanted at least a hybrid dual SIM setup on this phone. But if that 128 gigs of internal storage is still not enough for you, you may want to subscribe to cloud services. There are numerous options out there or at least just try to use your phone more conservatively and transfer your files to your PC or your laptop once it fills out. Over to the side, you find the volume rocker and the power button slash fingerprint scanner, which is a huge plus for me. I like the side mounted fingerprint scanner. I know um, there are those of you who feel that the under display fingerprint scanner is much more desirable, but you're gonna be touching the power button anyway. So it makes a lot of sense to put the fingerprint scanner where the power button is like this. As you can see right here, the phone runs on Android 10 with Huawei's very own EMUI version 11. For those of you who've never had a Huawei phone before, I got news for you. There's no Google services, so this means there's no Play Store, but it does have its own app store of sorts called the app gallery and you can install most of the app android applications from there in case you run into problems searching for your favorite application not all the applications are there by the way you can just manually search for the apk and install it from the web and uh, that's how you do it it's a roundabout way of doing things and that's not the conventional method of just searching for an app in play store 
store and installing it but you do get used to it and don't worry it's still android and it'll run all the android applications you just have to exert some effort in order to accomplish your goal so this is the built-in camera software of the huawei nova 8i we have a 64 mp main camera you also have an 8 mp ultra wide camera a 2 mp macro camera and a 2 mp depth sensor for the selfie camera you have a 16 megapixel sensor so I'm going to go ahead and take some photos with the different cameras on this phone and you guys take a look at it and tell me if you like what you're seeing. So I just finished installing Netflix and I'm looking at the playback specification right here and it tells me we have Widevine L3 which means the maximum playback resolution is capped at SD or standard definition. So waste of a good screen. I love the screen of the Huawei Nova 8i but not being able to play HD videos on Netflix is a bit of a bummer. And so can you. Bullshit. What about that time in Reno with those soccer moms at the Hyatt? Johnny? God forgive any of us for that. Uh, yes. So we still haven't unpacked the rest of the box, so let's do that right now. So over here we have an instruction card with a QR code that'll help you to find your favorite Android apps. Right here we have a small sleeve, let's open it up. and inside we have the pin for the sim tray there you go over here we have some documentation your warranty card and some safety information card and right here we have the free jelly case so this is what the phone looks like with the jelly case attached Still looks very nice, very attractive looking back panel. Let's move on to the remaining contents of the box. Right here, we have the USB Type-C cable. Check it out, guys. Over here, we have the power adapter, 66 watts of power. Very high wattage compared to other phones that are available right now that would really help us in charging the phone much faster oh and what's this we still have one more accessory right here it's a free headset guys check it out so guys we've come to the end of this video but before we leave let me share with you my closing thoughts on the huawei nova 8i build quality very good i love the back panel it looks like a mirror it's definitely gonna catch some fingerprints but there's a jelly case but hey I'd rather use it without the case the 6.67 inch display panel is bright and vivid very good looking display panel very slim bezels all around I love it downside is that there's no high refresh rate it only runs at a native refresh rate of 60 Hertz it has dual sim slots but no micro sd slots doesn't make sense but hey that's what we got it runs android 10 which is a little outdated um the chipset snapdragon 662 is also outdated it's somewhere around lower mid-range for 2021 which isn't that impressive but hey it's still a very good 
very smooth phone and if you can live without google services then hey for 13,999 pesos i think this is a solid option for those of you who are looking for a lower mid-range smartphone and with that guys share me your thoughts on this phone do you like the color what do you think are the best features of this phone are you planning to get one if you have any questions of course as always leave them in the comment section below i would love for you to subscribe we spend a lot of effort to make these videos so your support really counts and we really, really appreciate it we look forward to seeing you in the next video this has been kuya den for tech kuya i'll see you guys in the next one Paalam.